Oh, hello. Hi, how's it going? Fancy seeing you here. It's really funny, actually, how we just, like, cross paths like that. It's kind of weird, almost like it was meant to be. Hey, guys, um, you remember No Man's Sky, right? This game, damn, this game has been around for a while. I thought it'd be a nice time to go and check out No Man's Sky in the year 2023. See what's new, see what's different. So I've still got me old save. Look at that, last... Last played on the 9th of January 2023. These ones are from 2020? 2020? Here we are in No Man's Sky. Hey, how's it going? What a beautifully disgusting, ugly looking planet. It runs like a dream, though. Oh my god, what happened? Look at this! 130 FPS! Oh my god! Alright, so um, the planet's actually on fire as well. I'm not really sure why that's happening. Look at this little Don! What are you doing? Oh my god, I can't I can't keep up with him, he's gone. Just like that. Out of my life. Look at this though. Damn. Is there always this many fucking stars? That's crazy. So we're here. And to go to the core, we got no to the Oh we've got no hyperdrive. So No Man's Sky did actually receive an update recently. In fact, I'm actually pretty sure it received two oh. updates kind of consecutively. Jesus Christ, look at this place though. Holy fuck. They've actually landed in Mordor. Oh, Stellar corruption. Stellar corrupt. Stellar? No. Probably the worst pint of Stella ever. What's going on, mate? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm just editing this now, and it suddenly goes from very comical to very serious extremely quickly, and I don't really know how to properly edit kind of a segue so it flows and doesn't feel very abrupt so here's a little ad lib um if you enjoy this check out my soundcloud link in description you know that feeling when you first saw the e3 trailer and you were just thinking about all of the possibilities about all of the places you could discover about how you could spend quite literally an entire week you know two weeks a month on just one planet that's the kind of feeling i get even now i still i still get it when you look at a landscape and you're like, there's literally infinite amounts of things that I could be doing right now on this planet. It, it puts a big cheesy ass smile on my face and man, I, I miss, I do miss that feeling of infinite possibility. It's just a shame that this feeling, for me at least, just disappears the more you play because you notice that all of the stuff you find obviously is just still contained, it's still in this little box. So annoying. I just I just wish that they would put more effort, more resources into making this game as procedural and unpredictable as, as it was originally marketed to be. That's my wet dream, Sean. Please, man, please, come on, just do it. So really, No Man's Sky, even from just this tiny snippet of gameplay, is still, still the same game. For someone that enjoys traveling, looking at things you know i bought death stranding recently and that game is said by quite a lot of people to be very boring to be a walking simulator you know meant as a derogatory term but if you're into walking simulators and same thing as if you like euro truck right and you like driving from point a to point b delivering shit it's not for everyone but god damn it if you like it then this is probably the best thing for you. All right, so I'm gonna leave it here for today because I feel like that was a nice reintroduction to this game because this game is just like it it stands the test of time to me because there's nothing quite like it. Truly, I mean that in itself. Shit me, like shit on my chest right now. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. In the world.